So the whole thing is you're, you're playing on the string. You're not really playing on the fretboard. The fretboard is behind you and it gives you guides of notes and it helps you to, you know, you got you get a little fret and you press your little string against a little fret and, and you get your note. But the notes continue even when the fretboard doesn't. So you have to start thinking about playing on the string and what are you doing with the string? Well, you're shortening lengths of string to get higher notes by shortening the length. So uh, uh, <laughs> what you do <laughs> is uh, once you run out of frets to press the string against, you take this and you press that as if it was a fret on your finger that you can put onto your finger and press it against the string. So that once you run out of frets, you got that. And that's how you get a lot of higher notes that you wouldn't be able to get. Uh, intonation, is that just a matter of practice and memorizing where the notes are? Yeah. Yeah. So it's almost yeah. like yeah. A... magnetic? Is that what it is? It's like... Um, it's not magnetic. I had one that was in it. Every once in a while, it'd be like, <laughs> be stuck to the... <laughs> but yeah, um, they do get magnetized after a while because I have a magnet in here, and it would stay there, and then it would be like. <laughs> so yeah, in that song, guitar suck was happening is as I'm going up in little patterns of five. It's like one two three four five, 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 and it keeps on going. So like, one two three four. And it goes up to the top. I should play that better. And it gets. That's up to amazing. There. I, I don't get tired of watching that. <laughs> and it just keeps on, you know, whatever. But yeah, so that's one way to do it. And then the other thing is you have to remember that the string has these division points where the same things happen because all you're doing is shortening the length of string. So if you shorten it here to here, it's going to be the same sound as if you shorten from here to here. Like this right here, from 12th fret to here, if your guitar is intonated, it's going to be the same distance as from here to here. If you went... So that, with that in mind, that means that if there's a way to shorten the length of the string, not just from this way by using the frets, but doing it this way, you will get the same effect. So let's say you go... You could also... get it right there so now you can shorten the string this way and have the same kind of things happen instead of going or going you can go and you can get it there because it's doing the same thing all we're doing is we're shortening the string by this much so if you do it here or you do it here off of this it's going to be the same pitch Are you pushing the string down is that what's happening it's like doing a hammer-on. When you're doing this, you're shortening the length of the string from this long to that long. Yeah. So, as long as the string is shortened by this much, if you do it here, oh, the, you can oh, do it wow. there. You can do it there instead of... Or, so, you get yeah. a much more fluid sound out of that. And you can also be working off a lot of different notes. And once you start doing that, you could really get into a lot. Wait, so does the, does the thimble go flat as you go up, or is it? Oh, uh, what do you mean? I'm, I'm just sort of just like hitting it down as if I was tapping down the okay. string against the fret. You're just it's doing like it. It's like capoing from the other side, yeah, basically. Yeah, that's how I'm saying wow. it. Yeah. So that's how you can get it, like, uh, and get all the different. So you could you can make the guitar talk a lot by doing that. Then once I got into that, I was like, all right, well, here. And then just trying to bypass frets all together and just be able to do everything. That's awesome. Well, thank you for that. No, sure, sure.